together, can't we? Yeah, they're I can't see what they're holding. Ah, they're they arches, yes, they yeah. Are. So we need the arches at the front. Are you sure we didn't have any of those on the other side? No, we didn't. OK, I'll go with Sure. In fact, Gary's wrong. The team have another whole unit of archers at the top of the hill. Can we lift up there and go into the group behind? We have the cavalry back to the back. And these are not Roman legionary cavalry. They're auxiliaries. These are auxiliaries. They are competent when you cut them out on their own. They're Germans, German cavalry mm -hmm. working for the Romans. The Roman auxiliary had these horn saddles, and they're really quite nifty. You can really sit in there, you can really lean out and reach down at cavalry. I mean, they're. they're and you can sit in and give really strong impact um, charges with them. So, so they're quite, quite strong against infantry? Oh, very much so. So we've got some more archers just behind the horsemen. So Lieutenant, is your work done? Are you going to tell us anything? No. Tell your generals what you find out. We've got the light archers at the, re at the front, and everyone's pretty ready and eager. Ah, so we're doing things. Okay. Have we got more arches? Are there arches, arches at the back as well? Arches right, as well. Yeah, so yeah, we'll just yeah. keep that. Yeah, so we've got arches. Um, legionary cohorts, they've got okay. daggers and shields. Yeah, they're the ones right. right at the front. Yeah. The legionary cohorts, we have two blocks. Okay. And the heavy infantry, we have two blocks. And then we have nine units of uh, generals. Nine units of? Of generals at the front. Generals at the front. Yeah. All right, so general fighters, all right. No, generals. 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 Do you know specifically enough to tell us what sort of numbers we're talking about in all of these? It's probably more important you have an idea of, of what they can do and, and, mm. and what kind of weaponry they have right. and make sure this map represents accurately what's on there, because when the, the battle starts, you're going to need to know exactly where everyone is. Would you like to know what? a little more about oh, some yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we need to know more, more don't we, on each of the, the weapons? Well, I can give some information out. about some of them. Have a look first at the Roman legionaries. Have a look at this. What does that tell you? Roman legionaries, well-trained and experienced, vulnerable on the flanks, armed with javelin and sword, Testudo formation defends against missile attack. They, they, can, they can do the tortoise, the tortoise thing. Yeah. 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 They're older. Auxiliary heavy cavalry, disciplined but few in number, armed with spear and sword, best used aggressively. They wouldn't be bad, actually, because if you think about it, the people who are going to be attacking, they do it one-on-one. -on -one. So they're on a horse. They've got an advantage of height. But it actually says that, yeah. well. can still be vulnerable to it that. It actually says, they? yeah, that they're poor against infantry. Oh, I couldn't so see that. that. They've quite accurately just picked up the fact that um, the horses are vulnerable. The thing about cavalry is the horse is not armoured, and they're making a fair fist at, at analysing what they, you know, the, the capabilities of the individual. Now, troops. the question is, what will they do with? Yeah, you so you know all about your own troops now. Um, well, that's that's two lots. Mm. We've got the arches. Oh, are those are the key arches? I'm not going to lead you by the hand okay. through all of them. I've <laughs> given right. you lots of information. You know where they are. Do you think this map represents where your forces are? are you, you've been close down there. Are you happy with that? Do you think this is? Where are the generals you understood it. Don't listen to Joe. She thought you were on the other side of the road. <laughs> to be honest, I thought we were on the other side of the road. OK. Yeah. Half the team have got you in the wrong place. <laughs> what about the boys? No. I'll be child. Yeah. Quite happy. Quite Excellent. Happy. OK. We know where you are. What about where the enemy is? Would you like a little closer look? Yes, yes please. please. OK. Paul, go down to our technician on the right. Well, as soon as you find something out, right. shout up to the generals. OK, we're sending scouts out. Now, as soon as you get any information about the enemy, you should be plotting them on the map using the enemy blocks. Right. <gasps> They're right in the middle. See? They're right in the middle of the trees. The clearing in the trees. So it is that side. The team must use their time well. They only have one chance to find out exactly what they're facing. But will they spot Boudicca's secret weapon, her nimble cavalry and chariots? Yeah. Now, why don't you set out the enemy troops here? Yeah. They're in two main units, one to one side of the trees, one behind the trees. Well, Are you listening? Your lieutenant's telling you important information. What's that, Paul? Look at the scar. They're in two main units, one to the left of trees, one right behind the trees. We need to get some of these down, yeah. And the team are struggling to grasp just how many Iceni they face. Right across the back. This map should represent what you see on the screen. Yeah. Boudicca's forces comprise chariots. Berserkers, axemen, warriors, 
and substantial cavalry. They are all fierce and effective. But have the generals even noticed? We found yes. Bodicea. Where okay. is she? She's right at the front of the of the left army. She's towards so the we back. Have, yeah, we have some cavalry oh, there's here. some horses. Right. Some Sweet horses. Work. And at last, the team discover Boudicca's dangerous cavalry and chariots. The thing about cavalry and chariots, they're quickly mobilised. Yeah. That's right. So the Iceni could position them anywhere they want on the field and rapidly move them somewhere else. Oh, oh chariots. chariots. There's chariots. Yes, you just pan over a little bit more to the That's left. That's the chariot. One chariot. Gary Joe says you're talking to them. I don't know the chariot. I do talk too much. I'm, I'm naturally from, I'm from Liverpool. I, well, you're you're doing it talk. now. That's the, the end of the information gathering phase, in the middle, such as it is. Well, it's all... Whilst their survey of the enemy may not have been wholly comprehensive, the team are aware of one thing. They are seriously outnumbered. And now they have to devise a battle plan. That seemed quite confused. I, I don't, I'm not happy with that. That's, that's, that's I don't think that. that represents what the other group looks like at all. <laughs> no, I think fault is there. Yeah, but we, 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 <laughs> we were actually we were to, spending too much time just. We not, weren't talking. talking. You were talking. No, it, was not, the it wasn't the talking. Right? It was actually bobbing around the field, just looking at things and trying to do it systematically talking, and actually plotting it down. You see, when you panned away from it, we had a big central pod of them. With yeah. bits coming off the side. This yeah, but remember, is a I don't control what things. that screen's on. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not. Oh, you see, the blame starts. No, it is. Of course. It's, 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 the, it's the general. But we haven't got that central pod with There are an awful lot side. of Britons against very few Romans. They really are. I mean, it, 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 it's huge numbers. Oh, he says it's nearly all swordsmen. I think we can take the swords to be emblematic of handheld weapons. That's right. You're just as dead with a pitchfork in your dead. face You're as really with a sword in your dead. face. The enemy are very heavy on swords, but not too heavy on chariots, um, which should give us an idea of the tactics. The chariots are worrying us, weren't they? But if the chariots weapon. don't need to worry, I don't think, at this moment. I think we need to concentrate on how we're going to get rid of this front line. By dismissing their enemy's chariots, have the team committed their most fatal miscalculation? Chariots were... I mean, Caesar, when he came over 100 years earlier, tells us that the first thing there ancient Britons do on the battlefield is they drive all over the field throwing their javelins and what they're trying to do of course is provoke the enemy to come on and of course that's going to be the great temptation for our team do they think they they will come forward because if they do they could well be in trouble they've got to have that Roman discipline to hold their lines no more time that's it tell me what you're going to do I don't oh know. no, they don't know. I'm right, scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Right. <laughs> if you group it from all what we've said so far, then. Show me. Okay. I don't give the stick to him. It's too late, it's in my hand. If the time for talking yeah. is over, show but, me what you'll the, do. They, they will all just come straight down and attack him down yep, here. Because they what do the talking single about. charge. So if we actually send some of the light cavalry, keeping one troop here, light cavalry there, bring the archers down to the front here first to do a certain amount of damage, then quickly bring them back, bring our own. Yeah, troops that's, in, yeah. in, using the no, turtle no, wait, thing. Wait, wait. Jill? Go. What did we say about the turtles and the archers being in the middle? Tortoise. 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 Yeah. If they actually go into Testudo, it's going to be really, really stupid. No, I think we're just going to get wiped out. We're putting the archers in the wrong place. Yeah, the They're archers behind. Should go for. Right behind the first lot. Right should, behind should the two straight lines. Give, give yes. Paul the stick. Oh, all right, <laughs> if you really must. OK. The archers need to go there and there with the advantage... Should we keep a line of these in, right? With there? the advantage of height. Stick. Yeah. <laughs> the stick as well. <laughs> with the advantage of height. Keep quiet. And then we put these right there. Forgetting what are all this little lot here doing? I haven't finished yet. I actually need the stick. The stick's hindering me. I'll have 200 okay. on black. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you expecting the archers to carry on walking with the with the infantry no, to they go in? No, they stay back. Be, no, but the, they, they only have short bows. Look, we've got but three. You haven't listened to it. You haven't even let me finish. Go on, then. We don't have all day, Paul. You start... <laughs> You start here, what happens, they run forward, the archers run like they do in Ben-Hur, and, <laughs> and then they fire again, and they, it, I don't know what it's called, that Look, we've got strategy, what I'm here. actually trying to say. Trees. Just because <laughs> you're wearing combat trousers doesn't make you a soldier. Sorry, say, say it again, Joe. <laughs> no, but what you I'm know, saying makes sense. If you're